Jerusalem Delivered is an epic poem written by Torquato Tasso and first published in 1581 in Parma, Italy. This fantastical retelling of the First Crusade presents perspectives from both Muslim and Christian sides, delving into the profound conflicts between duty and passion. Following the Italian Renaissance style of epic poetry, the poem has gained acclaim despite its lack of historical accuracy. Tasso, a prominent poet of the 16th century, was renowned for his work, but tragically, he succumbed to a mysterious illness shortly before being crowned the King of Poets by the Pope. Mental illness is believed to have plagued him. In Jerusalem Delivered, the focus shifts away from the battlefield, emphasizing the backstories of women and ordinary individuals caught up in the turmoil. The narrative unfolds in Judea, Palestine, during the Christian liberation of Jerusalem in 1099. Throughout the poem, numerous characters undergo conversions from Islam to Christianity. The story begins by introducing the princes and warriors leading the army towards Jerusalem, with the Archangel Gabriel proclaiming that God has chosen Godfrey of Bouillon, a Belgian man, as the leader of the Christian Crusaders. Godfrey aims to restore Jerusalem to God's hands, which sparks discontent among other nobles who prioritize personal territorial gains over the liberation of the city. Meanwhile, Aladine, the ruler of Jerusalem, condemns Sophronia, a Christian maiden, to death. However, Clorinda, a Persian woman, comes to her rescue just before the scheduled execution. Clorinda captures the attention of Tancredi, a Christian knight, who confesses his love for her. Despite Tancredi's affection, Clorinda remains uninterested, leading him to yearn for her. At the same time, Armenia, a Muslim maiden, is deeply in love with Tancredi and will go to great lengths to gain his affection. She even offers to betray her own people if it ensures Tancredi's love. Naturally, Tancredi pretends to reciprocate her feelings, but when Christian soldiers attack Armenia, he does not come to her aid. After fleeing and finding refuge with a humble shepherd family in the forest, Armenia undergoes a conversion to Christianity with their help. Meanwhile, Armida, a Muslim sorceress and a tool of Satan in the battle, emerges. Satan desires the defeat of the Christians, so he tasks Armida with seducing Rinaldo, the strongest Christian knight, and killing him. If Rinaldo perishes, the Christians will lose faith and surrender. In support of the Muslim cause, Armida agrees to Satan's plan. Armida is a proud and arrogant witch who capitalizes on her beauty to win the affections of Godfrey, a Christian leader. With Godfrey on her side, she gains access to the Christian soldiers, captivating their hearts. However, unexpectedly, Armida finds herself falling in love with a Christian man. When she encounters Ronaldo, she is drawn to him and instead of killing him, she abducts him, envisioning a life together on a secluded island. As long as Ronaldo never returns, Satan remains indifferent. Despite enjoying Armida's company, Rinaldo remains steadfast in his commitment to the war and refuses to abandon his fellow troops. Despite her persistent attempts to seduce him, Rinaldo ultimately leaves Armida and rejoins his forces. For the first time, Armida experiences heartbreak. Meanwhile, Clorinda converts to Islam and aids the Muslims in attacking a Christian siege tower. Tancredi witnesses her actions but fails to recognize her, leading him to engage in combat against her. Before her demise, Clorinda converts back to Christianity and dies at peace. Tancredi reveals his love for her and expresses that his attack was unintentional. In the background, another Muslim sorcerer named Isman works on strengthening the Muslim defenses, using his powers to shield the forests from Christian weaponry. The Christians despair when they struggle to overcome Isman's enchantments. However, Rinaldo arrives, restoring their morale. He breaks the spells and lays siege to the fortified forests, tipping the scales in favor of the Christians. Victory seems within reach. Amidst the ongoing triumphs of the Christians, Armida remains submerged in grief, unable to move past Ronaldo's abandonment. In an act of vengeance, Armida decides to raise an army against Ronaldo as a punishment for his actions. Satan approves of this plan, and Armida sends her strongest warriors to eliminate Ronaldo. However, none of them return alive. Rinaldo, being a hero blessed by God, remains protected. Overwhelmed by depression and humiliation, Armida contemplates ending her own life, but Rinaldo intervenes. He urges Armida to seek forgiveness from God and advises her that converting to Christianity offers hope for her soul. 
Despite her continued love for Ronaldo, Armida trusts his words and embraces Christianity. Although she strives to win Ronaldo's affection, she never succeeds. Nonetheless, she takes solace in the presence of God. As the Christians breach the Muslim defenses and ravage their forests, they march towards Jerusalem and launch an assault on the city. The siege is brutal and exacts a heavy toll on the Christian forces, resulting in numerous casualties. Godfrey recognizes the urgency of securing the city before the arrival of the Egyptian army, which outnumbers them. With a relentless determination, Godfrey's army manages to capture the city just in time, moments before the Egyptians reach its gates. Engaging in a prolonged and arduous battle, the Christians ultimately emerge victorious. Rinaldo requests Armida to serve as his handmaiden, and she willingly accepts the role. Meanwhile, Godfrey and his soldiers engage in a ruthless massacre of all who oppose them. Godfrey justifies these acts of violence, claiming that they are necessary for the permanent liberation of Jerusalem. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.